What's going on, beautiful people? Trying something a little new today, so bear with me here. Um, this is an old game, probably a year old, that I just found on my phone. I'm trying to clear out everything as I have moved to Dallas, Texas, to take on the role of pickleball coordinator at DFW Indoor Pickleball. Anyways, the new thing I'm trying here today, as I think you have already noticed, is I am going to include the graphic, a drive drop ratio stat. Um, I think it's interesting to just see what people's tendencies are. Uh, I don't have a success rate on that stat, so if you want to keep it yourself, go ahead. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments whether you like it or not. War. Should I put a background? Should I put an outline? Should I make it like in a box or just do away with the whole thing? Um, let me know. I would love to do winners and errors one day. It just takes a lot of time. So we're starting with drives and drops on the third shot. On the near court real quick is Kate and Jeff. Kate's a wonderful player out of Arkansas and jeff from texas and then you got me and austin on the far court um if you see any of my videos you already know austin and i play a ton together but this is a special treat for us getting to play against kate and jeff all right beautiful people enjoy let me know what you think and i'll catch you on the next one What a hands battle. What a dodge. Excellent middle drop. Austin. Austin. Yeah, what in the world? Good shot, Kate. Love the idea. Don't love the footwork. Get that left foot on the outside of the ball so you can push it back into the court only tendency well only two tendencies showing right now with the drive to drop ratio is kate doesn't hit third shots wow that would happen and all the boys like to drop over drive kate and jeff stellar defense Austin, that, those were some really good, like, shots. That was fun to watch. I could not tell whether that was a driver drop, so we're still going to say Austin is four for four on his drops. Zero for one on his what the heck, but four for four so far. I see you, Kate. Good speed up, Austin. I don't think anyone was expecting that. You can kind of tell by me and Austin's play style is we're more of a sit and wait for you to attack, and then we just use your power against you. Little counterattack action. Oh! But that point, well, two points ago, um, Jeff and Kate are smart players, so they kind of recognize that we were probably being more passive than we should, and Austin with the sneaky speed up gets one.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shot, Kate. One of my favorite things to do is do something nine times in a row and then on the 10th, don't do it, baby. Some people's brains only need like three times in a row and you can do it, but the smarter players you get, the more you gotta set them up. And you have to remember what you do at the beginning of the game will affect how your opponents prepare for you at the end of the game. Always, Kate, always. You'll start to notice if you watch a lot of my games that I actually prefer paddle taps when I mess up. I need my partner to remind me they still love me. That is the second headshot. Just saying, not counting or anything. Did I mention how what you do previously in the game affects how your opponents prepare for you later in the game? Well, Austin, Kate was prepared. Your greatest strength is also your greatest weakness, Grasshopper. In Jeff's defense, he had just gotten out of the car, driving from Texas, working all morning, so his knees weren't exactly as low as they usually go. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. See ya on the next one.